Okay, so I'm going to do my August favorites. Um, this is my first video as well, so bear with me. And I have a lot of products to go through, so let's hope I can get this done in the time allotted. So, the first thing I will start with lip products. And the first thing is my Burt's Bees um, with lip balm with pomegranate oil. And this stuff here, it has the red tube. You must get because... I actually went without this for the last part of July into the first part of August and I couldn't figure out why my lips were so dry all the, all the time and so I went back to this and within like that day my lips were back to normal and so I now swear by this I will never stop using this unless they don't make it anymore and then I will have to try and look at the back ingredients and make it myself or something because yes that's how much I like it so moving on and we're already in a minute in and I've only done one product lovely um this is the Maybelline Moisture Extreme lipstick in cool watermelon 160 and I just love this color it's like a very bright pinky corally color Let's see if I can almost looks red on this screen and uh, but it comes off really sheer uh, this is what I love about all the moisture extremes is that it just it glides on almost like a tinted lip balm but with obviously more pigmentation and um, I really love this color for the summer I wore it all the time I'm still wearing it I have a little bit on my lips now but as it's late uh, it's probably worn off for the most part um, I think that's it for lips. The next thing is eyes. And I will start with this. And this is my Tarte Lifted Eye Primer. And you can see the lid has has broken. I have bits and pieces of it. So you, I would say this is not good to travel with because I traveled with it and then it really just kept cracking. I have pieces everywhere. Um, but it seemed to still hold up. Um, I'm almost done with it now, but I've used this all summer, and um, I usually don't need an eye primer in the winter as much as the summer. All of a sudden, my lids get really oily, so I'm really happy with this particular one. I'm not happy about the cost, though, and I recently picked up the... Um, Prime Time by Bare Minerals, and it seems to be about the same formulation. So I'm hoping that one works because it's not as much. I think the Prime Time was like sixteen or nineteen dollars or something, and this is way more. So um, liked it. Um, there were a few times it's still my eye shadow still creased on me. So, but overall this was really good. And you know if you want to spend the money, enjoy. <laughs> Um, the next thing is the Great Lash Blackest Black Mascara, which I believe is by Maybelline. Everyone knows this one. And I really wanted to love the Full and Soft. I really wanted to love a few different ones. And I think I'm going to have to do a separate video on mascaras because I've had the hardest time. But this particular one I really like. I really, really love this wand it's hmm, let's see if I can do this <laughs> it's like really small but it still has that same um, traditional brush and um, it just doesn't I noticed that a lot of different ones the wand itself had too much of the product on it and so it would just it would just go everywhere it's not good and it's not good for a novice like me and so yeah and this one the works. It holds my curl pretty good. Not phenomenal. And I'm sure if it were waterproof it might do better, but I'm trying to get away from waterproof and that's another story. So love this. Um eyeshadows. I am still loving, loving, loving my Per Minerals eyeshadow palette, like from two seasons ago, like two holiday seasons ago. I don't know if it will come up, but um, yeah, I'm loving pretty much every one of these colors. I use um, 
like a few of these, like this one here, if I can point, this one right here, all over the lid, and then I use one of these browns here, or over in here, um, in the crease. Um, I really love these shades for like a bluey, gray, smoky eye. And this particular one here kind of reminds me if I can, of the MAC Club. I don't know if that's going to come up. But it's not as pigmented. It's not. It's one of the one colors I'm not really thrilled with on this palette. But overall, love this. It's worked for all of my bronzy browns that I use most days. I have it on today, but I'm not sure if you can see. So I love that. I don't know why people have stopped talking about this, but love it. I also have the other one, which was for numbers. Love, love, love it. So, um, next thing is bronzers. Okay, it's the end of summer, and I was going crazy with the bronzers. I love bronzers. I love being tan. I am tan, but I like being as tan as possible, so bronzers the way to go. So, um, this one is Prestige Skin Loving Minerals in Glam Tan. And it's more of a bronze, almost highlighter, because it's really bronze. Like, very metallic. If I can get that. So it's ridiculously metallic, and I love it. It's so shimmery and lovely, and I usually just put it on my cheekbones. Or I might put it, like, you know, just where you would normally put bronzer. <laughs> so I'm liking that. And I really, really, really liked um, my Annabelle Mineral Powder Bronzer in Terra. I believe it's, I believe it's the only mineral bronzer they have, well, color they have. And I'm really, really liking this. And uh, it's very messy, though. It's the one thing I don't understand about their, it's just a mess. I would show you, but it would be everywhere. It doesn't really sift very well. It just comes out, stays out, and... That's the one thing I don't like about this, but I really do enjoy this. Um, the other one bronzers I really like is the e.l.f. Contour Blush and Con Bronzing Contouring Powder. But I just like the um, bronzer side. Um, I'm not not... I'm not hating this, but this blush is a bit shimmery. And you have to apply it with a certain brush, or I find that if you apply it with the wrong brush, it's just nothing but glitter, and nobody wants just glitter face. So, um, I'm liking it for the price, and I ended up getting it at Winners, so any Canadians out there, Winners, if you want to get any e.l.f. stuff. Um, they also had the Cool Bronzer, which I really like. It's nice and dark, because... People of color know that it's hard to find a bronzer that's dark enough for you, and this one is really nice and dark. And I don't usually swirl it because I find that with this particular pinky color, it ends up being a bit too red. So I usually just use either this, which is a nice beige, beigey brown, and this one's a bit more chocolatey brown. And so, yeah, I usually mix those two. I might put the white in, but usually not. And I'm really, really liking this because it's matte. And so I can contour if I want to contour. And then, oh, I'm already at nine minutes. Um, and then this. I think I might buy this for everyone I know because love it, love it. The e.l.f. High Definition Powder. And it comes like this. You get a pow you know, and it, there's... And it's actually coming out. It's just a white powder. It's, I believe, it's just silicone. I'm not sure if they actually have it on here, but also got it winners. All my elf products got it winners because I never wanted to pay the flat shipping rate because I thought you get something for 75% off, and then and then it's like I don't know, $15 shipping or something, and it just seemed ridiculous. So I never did it. Maybe I was being cheap. Whatever. I'm not going to be cheap now because I like this. I was actually hoping to get the MAC Prep and Prime, but um, it was always sold out, so I just figured I'll try this. Love it, love it, love it. It just makes 
my face look like I was, I'm always airbrushed. Like, what is that about? I don't know. Love it. And I always apply that with my 12 bronzer, bronzing powder brush. And I love this for this because it, this is, gives such a nice light application. And it really does sit really nice for me. And, um... The only thing is, this kind of sheds. Any coral brush I've ever had sheds. So you have that, but it's very soft. It does the job. And I'm already at 10.30, so I don't know if this is all going to work. But the other thing I really like is my um, Everyday Minerals powder brush. I used this with one other product I didn't put in there. And... Um, just to apply my foundation or what I am powder foundations and stuff like that I find that it really applies it nicely and it might be because of the density and the rush and it's just so soft and lovely and people have talked about this forever so I won't go into that I also like the everyday minerals foundation brush um, I love this I use this to apply my Corez um, tinted moisturizer love it it works it in really well blends really well and I really like this um, I bought a new sponge applicator for foundation so I'll see if I like that better but the one thing I will say about this is you have to clean it in between because it gets gunky and then it does not do very well for applying it so and then the Annabelle I don't know if it's a crease brush or an all over lid color brush or whatever you call it this one here, I don't, oh, here it is, A21 is what they call it, and let me tell you, love it! I actually had to go back and buy two more of these, because not only does it pack in the lid, on the lid, all the color, it works with shadows that you think might not be giving you a good color payoff, it just seems to be able to work with so many different shadows, and it also helps blend the tips. It's just the way that it is cut. It's just, I love this. I might have to do a separate talk about this because I'm running out of time. And last brushes is the Everyday Minerals um, Crease Brush, I believe. And I just really like this for blending. I sometimes just use this and that Per Minerals palette I was telling you about. And I just put you know, a lighter shade all over the lid, and then I put something in the crease, and maybe a highlight, all with this brush sometimes because I'm really lazy, and love it, love it, love it, love it, love it, and it was cheap, all of these Everyday Minerals were extremely cheap, so love that as well. And then the last product, I believe, is my Body Butter of the Month, and I decided to try... Um, the Tree Hut Shea Butter, Shea Body Butter in Coconut Lime. I've used their other ones, which I think is just regular Shea Butter, or I don't know what other flavors they have, but it's kind of a regular scent. But this smelled so good in the packaging, and I don't have much left. You can see I have been using it, and it smells so good. It smells good on your skin. People ask you what you're wearing, and yeah, it's it's good stuff. It moisturizes good. I would say that um, I kind of prefer this over the Alba butter body butters I use um, because it doesn't seem to leave too much of a greasy film like some body butters do. I really do like this and um, can't say enough good stuff about it. So I better go. It's 14 minutes. I hope YouTube lets me upload this or I'll be doing this yet again. Talking about the body butter and all the, yes, so, <laughs> I also wanted to say really quick is if you are Canadian, um, MAC Cosmetics right now, on their website, um, maccosmetics.ca, they have the Lady Gaga and the Cindy um, Viva Glam lipsticks and the lip glosses and the case and the whole thing back in stock if you want to buy it you have to buy it online i believe that's the thing i just got it on my email so i thought i would pass it to everybody else and i hope everyone had a good august and let's have a good september bye